So what is the difference quotient? Well, you can see difference means subtracting, quotient means dividing, and this is the formula here. It's f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And uh, this is starting to get into some calculus. Uh, this video is intending more for pre-calculus students, but basically what you have here is you have, here's x, and here's the point f of x on the, this curved region right here. If you go a little distance to the right, we're gonna call that distance h, that puts you over here at x plus h, and if you go up to the curve, that y-coordinate is f of x plus h. Now, if we use our slope formula, our slope formula is uh, y2, okay, so y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Here you can see the x's are gonna cancel one another out. That's where this difference quotient comes from over here. And then what happens is if you take the limit, okay, as h approaches zero, meaning as this distance between this point and this point gets smaller and smaller, this point moves along the curve until these points, they coincide with one another. And so what happens is instead of getting this average rate of change, the secant line right here, you're actually getting the instantaneous rate of change, okay, which is the slope at that point here. So we're using the slope formula, but we're using limits to bring these points closer together uh, until they coincide, and then we get the instantaneous rate of change. That's the slope at this point here. But what we're gonna talk about here is just how to work with finding the difference quotient. And all it really is is a substitution. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take whatever's in the parentheses here, x plus h, that's gonna go in place of x on the right side of the equation. So what this looks like is if we put x plus h into our function, we get x plus h, the quantity squared, plus 3, okay, that's this part right here, minus f of x, which is this entire function here, minus x squared plus 3, okay, I put it in parentheses so we uh, treat it as a group, all divided by h, okay, and then this is the limit as h approaches 0. Now all we're going to do is we're just going to do some arithmetic and simplify this down. So what we get is x squared plus 2hx plus h squared plus 3 minus x squared minus 3 because you have to distribute the negative, okay, all divided by h. Now you can see we've got some cancellation occurring here. We have x squareds cancel, the 3s cancel, and we're left with 2hx plus h squared divided by h. We could factor out an h so we have 2x plus h divided by h. The h's cancel. This is our final result, but if we want to take the limit as h approaches 0, we can substitute 0 in for h here, and we're going to get 2x. So what the 2x means is that, okay, if we were to look at this graph, y equals x squared plus 3, 1, 2, 3, it's a parabola like this. Okay, this is a formula for the slope anywhere along this curve. So for example, if we go over here to x equals one, and we go up to the, to the function there, two times one is two, that means the instantaneous rate of change here, the slope at that point is gonna be two. Say we put a negative one, we go up to the curve, that's gonna have a slope of negative two. So this is the formula, you just wanna memorize the difference quotient, and all it is, again, is just a substitution. You're putting x plus h in for x, Okay, and simplifying, and you're subtracting f of x, which is the original function, and then, again, simplifying. So this has been an introduction into how to find the difference quotient and its applications in calculus. I'll see you in the next video.